Hey what's up guys it's Maka from TechFlash and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the CM14.1 official for the Nexus 6 so without any further ado let's get started So before you proceed any further in the video just go to the links in the description below and download the ROM as well as the G apps. Once that's done you need to boot your phone into the recovery mode. For doing that you need to hold the power button as well as the volume rockers simultaneously for 3 seconds. So as you can see now we are into the fast boot mode. So now you have to navigate to recovery using the volume rockers and then press on power button to select it. So as you can see now we are booting into the TWRP recovery. Make sure that you also have this latest version of the recovery installed on your phone. I'll be providing a link to that also in the description below. So as you can see now we are into the TWRP recovery. So before you proceed any further in the installation of the ROM process, just make sure to take a quick backup of your whole device. So if, in case if something goes wrong, you can just restore the backup. Once you have done that, just go into the wipe and that go into the advanced wipe and then select Dalvik card system data as well as the cache. Don't select the internal storage option as that's where a ROM is. So as you can see now the wipe is complete now just quickly navigate to the home of the TWRP recovery and then go into the install tab there navigate to where you have downloaded the ROM so as you can see now in my case I have them into the download folder now tap on the ROM file and then swipe on swipe to flash so as you can see now the TWRP is flashing the ROM once the ROM is flashed now you need to flash the G apps so again go into the install tab and then navigate to where you have downloaded the G apps there are various version of G apps that you can download in my case I'm installing the nano G apps as of now you can also download the mini or the stock one if you want so as you can see now the TWRP has finished the flashing of the G apps. Now you need to quickly reboot your phone. So as you can see now the ROM is booting. Here we have the Cyanogen mod boot animation. So as you can see now here we have the Cyanogen mod startup screen. So I'll just quickly finish this and be back. So now I'm done with the startup screen. So I'll just quickly boot into the ROM. So as you can see the Cyanogen mod is now asking me if I want to set the Google Now launcher as my home app or the Trebuchet launcher which comes inbuilt with the ROM. You can use any one which you want. In my case I'm just gonna go with the Google Now launcher as I like it very much. So as you can see now we are into the home screen of the Cyanogen mod. So as you can see all the animations of the ROM are feeling pretty smooth. There are no lags in the animation of the ROM. So now I'll just quickly go into the settings and show you about phone so you can see the info of the ROM. So as you can see here the device model is Nexus 6, Android version is 7.1.1 and the Cyanogen mod version is 14.1 uh, nightly for Shamu. Now I'll just quickly go back and show you other features which are available in the ROM. So I'll just quickly turn off the adaptive brightness so as you can see the adaptive brightness is also working. So as you can see there are many display options available in the ROM, the live display is also supported. So as you can see it also supports the night mode. So as you can see the night mode is working pretty great on the ROM. You can also set it to automatic mode to automatically adjust as per your environment. So I'll just quickly turn it off now. So as you can see the options for ambient display, the double tap to wake up. I'll just quickly show you if it's working or not. So I'll just quickly turn it off now. So as you can see the double tap to wake up is also working. There is also option to change the display size as well. You can set the display size as per your liking. I'll just quickly show you the status bar settings so as you can see there are various options available for the status bar customization. The ROM is feeling pretty great to use as of now so I'll just quickly show you around the camera app uh, which comes with the CM14.1. As you can see you can set the picture size, the picture quality, the exposure, the white balance. These are pretty great features which are provided by the app but it feels pretty laggy as you can see it's uh, giving like a lag of some kind while, while I'm using it. I would recommend you to install Google camera app. I'll be providing a link to that also in the description below. So the ROM is feeling pretty smooth as of now. So you can install this ROM on your primary device if you want as a daily driver. So as you can see the ROM is feeling pretty stable as of now. This ROM is constantly under development. So there are daily builds which are coming up onto the Sanogen mode side. Make sure while installing you download the latest version which is available. 
So that's pretty much about this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and do subscribe to Tech Flash for more such tech related videos and I'll catch you in the next one.